Reef tanks are often considered to be very labor intensive and difficult to maintain, but in my opinion this is a big misconception about the hobby. There are plenty of ways to automate your reef tank so you have to do less of the work and more of the sitting back and actually enjoying your tank. I have a pretty low tech setup, but that doesn't mean I have to do more things by myself. The lighting automatically turns on and off at specific times, the power heads provide the aquarium with flow, the heater knows when to turn on and when to switch off, and my dosing pump automatically doses the appropriate amounts of liquid solutions to provide the corals with enough elements to thrive and grow. Something that is quite time consuming however is testing your water. Some tests take longer than others, but I found that just doing the basic tests for calcium, magnesium, alkalinity, nitrates, phosphates and salinity can take me more than an hour each time for everything I have. And let me tell you, it is boring. But why is water quality so important? Well you can compare it with the environment we live in. If our air quality gets bad, it can have all sorts of negative effects on our health. The same thing applies to the living creatures inside our aquarium. Maintaining good water quality is the most important aspect of keeping a thriving aquarium. Every species of coral, fish or invertebrate has its own needs in order to thrive and live a healthy life inside your aquarium. But keeping track of water chemistry can be labor intensive and time consuming. And that's one of the reasons why I haven't been doing them as often as I probably should. That was at least until a few months ago when Reef Kinetic sent me one of their ReefBot labs. For me personally, water chemistry and keeping track of it is just a headache, but it's super important. Some people test their water on a daily basis, either for peace of mind or because they like to hit and chase certain numbers to achieve certain growth and coloration. Can you imagine spending an hour every day doing the exact same thing, which is testing your water? And what if I told you that you can automate this and not have to worry about it ever again? That would be much better, right? Well. The Reef Kinetics ReefBot Lab can do just that. Now what is a ReefBot Lab? The ReefBot Lab is a monitoring device that uses a reagent based method to autonomously measure the levels of the parameters in your aquarium. It can test 17 different water parameters and there are currently 120 compatible test kits for this device. Reef Kinetics is constantly working on adding new test kits and parameters to their devices, which you don't have to do anything for. They will add these new options to your device remotely. Now they could have just made their own test kits to maximize profit, but instead they want it to be a suitable device for any reefer. So you are able to get a test kit from your local fish store and start using it on the ReefBot lab. Just check the list of compatible test kits on their website or in the app and you are good to go. You can set up preferred test schedules and let the ReefBot do the rest of the work for you. It will run tests as you wish, analyze them and send you real time updates via mobile or their web app. What's even cooler is that you can immediately spot if something is wrong with your aquarium. The Reef Kinetics Cloud Controller app is very user friendly and you can even set customized alarms to track the changes in your aquarium's water parameters. The only thing you need to do is fill up the vials with testing reagent, add RODY water to your container and empty your waste container when the app tells you to do so. Other than that you can just sit back and enjoy your aquarium with peace of mind. Although the ReefBot lab is compatible to test 17 different water parameters, I only use them to test 5 basic elements that are very important for the well-being of your corals, which are namely calcium, magnesium, alkalinity, phosphate and nitrates. I don't want to get lost in all the numbers by testing the trace elements and such, and I feel like my corals are doing well by just focusing on the main elements. In the Reef Kinetics app, you can schedule the ReefBot lab to perform tests hourly, daily, weekly, monthly or even yearly. I have mine set to test once a week, but I know other hobbyists who want to know their parameters on a daily basis. It really depends on your own preferences. I keep my ReefBot lab in the left side of my reef tank cabinet, or should I say ordinary dresser. It isn't anything fancy. You can also have it on display if you like, because after all, it's a pretty interesting and innovative device with a very sleek design. I keep the RODY and waste container in the cabinet below the soft coral aquarium on the left side. I took out the bottoms of the drawers so I have more space to hide the cable mess and these containers. These containers are filled with calcium, magnesium and alkalinity regions for the automatic doser on this tank. The other two containers are for the ReefBot lab. As you may know I like to keep things low tech and although I have upgraded my equipment recently it's still a pretty low tech setup as it doesn't have any filtration, skimmers or reactors. I don't have any plans on adding new equipment either. 
Before using the Reefbot Lab, I never really tested my aquarium water unless I noticed something was wrong by simply just observing the corals. If they were all closed up or looked irritated, I'd do tests to find out what was going on and go from there. I really don't want to spend a lot of time doing tests and start changing things up every week to just chase said to be perfect numbers. Because honestly, this is different for every aquarium. It really depends on the corals you're keeping. Soft corals, for example, don't really care if your calcium or magnesium levels drop a bit, as they don't grow calcified skeletons. However, a lot of people still ask me what my water parameters are, and before I could only tell them one thing. I don't know. But now with a simple check in the Reef Kinetics app, I can provide everyone with an in-depth answer on this matter. Everyone has its own way of keeping a reef tank. So if I can help them by providing my parameters, I'll happily do so. My 40 gallon shallow reef is a mixed reef tank featuring a wide range of corals. I've added a few new corals and two beautiful clams over the past few weeks and these living creatures take elements out of the water in order to grow. But without testing my water, I would have never known how much they actually consume on a daily basis. If I didn't make any changes to my dosing schedule accordingly, elements such as calcium, magnesium and alkalinity, the main and only elements I dose through my dosing pump, would continue to drop over time. After a while, this can slow down growth all across the tank and eventually might even starve some corals to death. Small polyp stony corals are most sensible to these swings. The ReefBot Lab allows me to keep track of how much the corals actually need by doing just a simple test on my phone. It's all run automatically and I don't have to do anything. Some of these corals, mainly the SPS species that have been in here for many months, didn't experience significant growth since adding them to the aquarium. I now know why. I wasn't dozing enough and over time certain elements dropped way too low and it sent some species of coral into survival mode. In that case, growth and coloration is the last thing the coral will focus on. Since making small adjustments to my automatic dosing schedule, I've seen a ton of improvement in terms of growth and coloration. You can see it for yourself if you watch some of my older videos and compare it to the one you're currently watching. Over the years I've learned that it is a smart idea to test your water every so often, so you can get some insight into the environment in which your corals live. Sometimes it can take many weeks before corals show a visible reaction to something that happened in your water chemistry. If you let things slumber for too long, it can lead to some irreversible events, which you definitely don't want to happen. Now, if you like tech, innovative projects, and want to keep a close eye on your aquarium, consider getting yourself a ReefBot Lab from Reef Kinetics. If you want to hear experience from other people as well, go check out the videos from Reef Dudes, the Coral Reef Tank, and Parker's Reef Did on this device, or chat with other hobbyists in groups or on Reef to Reef. They provide some great insight on this device, and they all run different schedules. Thanks for watching. Okay.